When I'm playing volleyball, I feel excited and I'm not really nervous. Regardless of the outcome of the game, whether we win or lose, I am definitely a strong believer that everything happens for a reason. I'm constantly thinking about what happens next or what if I do this. Just kind of go with the flow and live in the moment. I'm Dakota Burton. I play on the ACC volleyball team. This is my second year and I'm an agribusiness student. We usually practice four days a week and have games every Friday and Saturday most weekends. Mine. Oh, my God, my God. Moving to Brandon was a big change. I'm very close to my family, so moving away from them was kind of tough. I started playing volleyball in grade seven because it was the only sports option in our area. I played club for a few years until we could no longer afford for me to play. Dakota does a good job of a putting a baseline of the physical aspect. She's always at the gym, always doing all the extra reps that she can do to be better. So that definitely puts a high level for the other girls to follow in terms of, you know, staying fit and coming prepared to the game. So doing a libero is something new, exciting, and you always get to touch the ball. You're not waiting around or you kind of know your job, I guess, so that's kind of nice too because I'm someone who likes the routine. A typical day for me, well, my days look the same. I'm someone who's very, very routine. I have a plan and I have to stick to it. I have everything planned out by the hour, the minute. <laughs> so generally, I get up at 4.30 every morning. I go to the gym. I get home, I make breakfast, I get ready for school, go to school, come home, do homework, go to volleyball, then I come home, do some more homework, and go to bed. Every day, all day. <laughs> kind of three teams and then we're going to split up and put. In terms of her positive energy, I would say like she's just she's one of those people that has that and I don't know if it's a natural gift, but she just kind of always smiles. Like she kind of walks in and she can kind of light up a room just by being there. And I remember even the first week I coached her, I'm just kind of going like, you know, she's always happy, like she's always smiling. And, you know, I think she just has that natural kind of charm that allows her to, you know, just enjoy what she's doing and make other people enjoy being around her. like I am now, you kind of, you see the people play and you want to play. I think one of the biggest reasons I stay so busy is strictly because if I'm not busy, I'm thinking. I was forced to grow up pretty fast. I got my first job at 13 for financial reasons and I didn't really get to keep any of the money for myself. I, my sister and I helped my parents out a lot, which was okay, they were two single parents. I was in grade 10 when I lost my grandma. And then six months later, I lost my mom. It was pretty tough on all of us. We were forced to move with my dad, then COVID. So right after that, COVID happened. I didn't get to go to school. I didn't get to see my friends. My mom died by suicide. I wouldn't say I expected it at all. I think the biggest thing was the feeling of it being your fault, like you, I felt responsible, I felt like I could have done something better or maybe I should have paid more attention. I owe a lot to my mom and grandma. I feel like if I didn't play, I'd be letting them down. Oh, sorry. No worries. I think that my mom would tell me that she's proud of me. I think she'd be surprised too. I think that she would tell me that um, that she didn't, I guess, maybe didn't expect me to become who I've become. And I could be wrong, I have no idea. I think that she would definitely tell me that I need to relax a little and that I need to trust myself some more. Volleyball brings me up really close to my mom, my grandma, and to home.
sports definitely helped me get through a lot of difficult times because I was constantly doing something. My mind wasn't always on what was going, like what was going wrong in my life. Honestly, without sports, I probably wouldn't be as mentally okay as I am now. I play volleyball to give myself something to be proud of, something to like look forward to. Like honestly, the friendships that I've made while playing volleyball is probably the biggest takeaway. I would have guessed that this is where I would be. I would never guess that I would be this bubbly human being that's able to like function. <laughs> but yeah, I think that's definitely what I'm most proud of in myself is the progress I've made from going through what I've gone through.